Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carrie. This channel is all about Hawaii food and family and today we are back in the kitchen again and it's a new year and we are going to be making sushi, like California sushi hand rolls and mom made this for us uh, for New Year's Eve so I thought this would be a really fun recipe to share with all of you. It's pretty simple um, because the ingredients in general are simple but it tasted very delicious. So mom, how do you make sushi hand rolls? Okay, so first of all you have to have the nori. So we have some nori here and then of course you want to get rice so you want to get some good um, short grain rice mm -hmm. um, that I have here and, and we're the, using the nishiki bread. Here, yes and and you need to have um, this the sushi um, sauce uh, which is made out of vinegar sh sugar and salt and then you cook your rice mm -hmm. and you season it and of course then you're going to make your hand rolls with your nori and what we're going to use um, to put into our nori into, into our sushi is the uh, um, leg style imitation crab um, avocados cucumbers and I normally use um, radish sprouts which it's is nice radish. because it, it, ha it is um, spicy so but Carrie got something uh, a little bit Similar. different it's spicy microgreen mix um, it has radish, mustard, and amaranth. So that's going to be really interesting and really neat. And, um, you know, as uh, just to make it more interesting and maybe add a different flavor, you can also uh, provide some different kinds of poke mm -hmm. that um, people, you know, they can make their own hand rolls. And so we have different kinds of poke here as well as um, ume for those people, for those of us who really love ume. Okay, so what, what do we do with the sesame seeds? Oh, okay, so then um, there is a sauce, a really delicious sauce that goes, um, so you put, you have your nori, you put your seasoned rice, and then oh, right before you put your all of your vegetables, you put this great um, mayonnaise mixture. It's got mayonnaise, honey, um, sesame, sesame seeds, sesame oil, and you mix it together and I'll, um, we'll, we'll be doing that as well. All right, okay. so keep watching and we will first, I think, make the rice, right? Okay, That's probably step one. Right, okay. Do you have any secrets to how you wash your rice? Um, I wash it in water. <laughs> okay. But if you read the directions on the bag, it does say to wash your rice and let it soak for 15 minutes and then you cook it. Okay, so now we are, uh, the rice is sitting for 15 minutes and we are gonna start cooking, I'm sorry, and then we're gonna start cooking the rice, but then in the meantime, we're going to prepare the sushi rice sauce. Seasoning sauce. Sorry, seasoning. <laughs> sushi okay. rice seasoning. Right, so the uh, ratio of the seasoning is eight parts vinegar to five parts sugar to half a part of salt so we're going to use um, we're going to do eight tablespoons of vinegar five table tablespoons of sugar and a half a tablespoon of salt okay so i'm just going to measure these out so five and, and how did you get this recipe this recipe is is it from this, is it the um the seasoning the seasoning recipe uh the seasoning recipe i got from um, our good friend from Sacramento, Koichi Mizushima, and he had it online. Actually. Oh, okay. You know. So thank you, Koichi. I don't know if you watch our videos, but thank you very much for this recipe. It's very delicious. So half a tablespoon is also equal to one and a half teaspoons. And then we're going to add eight tablespoons of vinegar, and we do use um, Japanese vinegar for this. So we, then we're just going to mix it up and then it's going to be ready when our rice is ready to mix into the rice. And the ratio here is for every one cup of uncooked rice, you're going to use two ounces of seasoning. So, so um, I'll, I'll put this in the description box right. as well. But And probably it's to taste, right? Like you put a little and then you taste it. Um, well, according to Koichi, you can just pour it in and mix. Okay. If you do the math right. Which is how we did, yes. I did, I, yeah. It's a great recipe, actually. 
so I have three fourths of a cup, which is six ounces. So I will have about two ounces left after I, because we made two cups of rice. Yes, right. two cups. Okay, just wash the cucumber. And then I'm gonna cut it in half here. Why do you want me to cut the crab? Okay, but just cut it in half once, I think. So I do remove the seeds because the seed, I, I don't want it so watery. So I do, yeah, so I do take the seeds out. Right. So like this, Mom? Maybe one more time, yeah. Each one one more right. time? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna make long strips. Nice. And mom really likes to get the um, Kilo's Amano imitation crab. Why do you like this? Why do you like this brand the best? Is it because you're from uh, the Big Island? Maybe. She's biased. I'm biased. For grandpa, used to get this one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Something that you could also add in sushi like this is top one, like a the pickled radish, which I forgot to think about getting. So growing up, did um, grandma used to make something like this? No. Not really. Not no. not hand rolls. Not hand rolls. Why did you start to, what got you into start making um, hand rolls? I had a friend at Campbell High School when I was a teacher there. And she uh, made one for one, of our, our, for one of our teacher lunches. And uh, gave me the recipe on how she did it. So wow. that's how I started. Shout out to Campbell High School. Right. Shout out to Campbell High School. Do you want to say what you taught? Um, sure. I was a science teacher. And I remember in her classroom, she had a big uh, skeleton horse. Which was a really horse skeleton. A horse, sorry. A horse skeleton. But for the ume, I'm going to um, just kind of cut off the seeds. So if people want to put this in, it will give it a nice, that nice plum flavor, which we all love. Try it. It's so you though. Oh! Been soaking for 10 years this way. I think we should put some honey in it or something. Okay, so in our platter right now, we have cucumber, our sprouts, um, avocado, and our crab. And mom, oh, and then I also, I cut some ume and I put a little honey because it, um, it was really salt, salty because I think it's it's been sitting for a while. So um, now mom's going to show us how she makes her mayonnaise. Make sure that you put on the rice, right? Okay, right. Yeah. So I'm going to make half a recipe. So I need half a cup of mayonnaise. And you, if you want to measure out um, two teaspoons of honey. You know, and if you, if you put a little extra, it's Fine. We like it a little bit sweeter then. We do. We do. And it's going to be two teaspoons of sesame seeds and I like to grind them actually. So I'm going to grind these sesame seeds in my grinder. Where do you get the grinder from? Japanese market or? You know, I, yes, it has Japanese writing on it. <laughs> so we don't know. So I'm so, I'll find I'm one remember. online though and I'll put it in the fun. description if you want to grind your sesame seeds. But I do notice a lot of Japanese, um, they do like to do this step, yeah? Like when they make dressings mm -hmm. or this kind of thing. Adds to the flavor really Yeah. Does. And how much of the sesame oil? Three fourths of a teaspoon. So you can just use a teaspoon and kind of eyeball it. Okay. This is it's fine. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't. Put it here. No, but it's, it's a little bit it's too fine. much. Okay. It's fine. We can, it's fine. It's fine. There we go. Now what about the wasabi? You had wasabi up. Okay. So we add that um, to the sushi um, as people Ask for it. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't like wasabi yeah. personally. But do you know what one bee said to the other bee? 
Wasabi. <laughs> It's like wasabi. Wasabi. <laughs> okay. So, okay. I mean, if if we knew that everyone lo loved wasabi, we could put it in here. But we, but know, we that know that everyone doesn't love wasabi. So yeah, it's definitely an acquired taste. If you're a wasabi lover, leave a comment and just let, let us know. Just Click the like button. <laughs> well, I mean, not everybody likes wasabi, but you know, just wondering who out there is a wasabi lover. Okay. So we're gonna put this in the center there. Tray is all ready for our sushi now. So now all we're waiting for is the rice, mix the rice until so we have all of our ingredients. I'm gonna put this in the fridge for a little while. We're gonna cut up the nori and then um, when the rice is ready, stay tuned because we're gonna put this all together and try our sushi handles. Rice is all ready, so all right. 45 minutes exactly from the time I pushed the start button. Okay. And so now we're gonna put it into my mixer. So I know we talked about this wooden um, bowl before because we've used it many times, but do you wanna kind of see again where where you got this from? Um, from Grandma and Grandpa. Oh. And I don't know where they got it from. It looks like it came from Japan, don't you think? Yeah, it does. I think you can get them now like at the Japanese stores like Don Quixote or um, Marukai, I'm sure. Or you know, Amazon, you can't really get anything. So I'll put a link of, you know, a similar kind of wooden bowl, but why do you think this a bowl like this is good to mix the rice? Um, it's flat and wide mm -hmm. and um, it helps to cool it easier right mm -hmm. yeah okay i'm gonna put this in it's hot. It's hot yeah it's a little hot okay okay so we have um we need to get four ounces right and i have five and a half i have five ounces here okay so I need to leave one ounce. Is that right? I have five ounces. I do have five ounces. Okay, we have to leave one ounce. Okay. Okay, here we go. You can mix. Is there a technique? Uh, well, don't smash the, the rice grains. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so we'll link this recipe in the description box if you want to use this recipe for your own sushi at home. Here, you okay, can mix. And, uh, yeah. So we're gonna mix every so often just to help it cool. And um, it's and gonna be delicious. Keep watching, because we're gonna make our sushi pretty soon. Okay, so now rice is cool and we are ready to make our hand rolls, the best part. So while she's getting the instrument that she needs, we got some sab or some poke from Foodland today. So one of them that we're going to put in that mom's going to try is the wasabi salmon poke. Okay, so I use a very small amount of rice. And um, and what? And spread it thinly. Okay. So a little bit of rice actually goes a very long way. So we're going to cover about half of the um, of our sushi nori. And then I like to be very generous with the mayonnaise. Mm. Okay. Okay. So then Carrie doesn't want any of the sprouts and normally I love the sprouts and of course she's not a wasabi person but if you were then I would put the wasabi on now but what she wants is um, crab crab and of course I'm gonna put it at a diagonal cucumber oh. and avocado and we can put some ume since I and she's an ume lover though here so this is this is different so yeah usually you don't put ume but that's okay Okay. And then how do you roll it? So the way you roll it is um, you're going to put this edge here against there. So it goes this way, around, and there you go. Ooh, this looks okay. very good. Okay. Okay. There's one. And I'm going to try mine with a little bit of salmon. Some minis. And 
some wasabi. Because so I you like love wasabi? I like wasabi, yes. A tinge of wasabi here. Yeah. Okay. And I do love the sprouts. Okay, so... It will add a spice to it. A little spice, right? Mm -hmm. And cucumber. And avocado. Just need a little avocado. And um, the imitation crab. And a little bit and of I salmon. I guess we're going to try a little bit of salmon here. Ooh. At Foodland, there's, they have like a huge array of different kinds of poke that you can get. It's pretty, it's pretty intense, so. And the, the poke there is always pretty good. Okay. Here we All go. All right. We are ready to eat. I have some shoyu. I'm going to dip mine in. Are you going to dip yours in shoyu? No. Oh, okay. I'll show you. All right. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. 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 -hmm. I think not using a lot of rice brings out the flavor of everything else. Mm -hmm. How is it with the salmon? It's really good, actually. Good. Really adds. Salmon mm. is good. How's it with the ume? It's nice. Salty? No, I mean, I like, I like the salt, so it's really delicious. It, it really makes for a nice, um, like appetizer when you when you go to someone's house or mm -hmm. yeah, just as a side dish this is like a nice thing to bring but one thing too we didn't cut the nori till right before we uh, made the hand rolls so like we're having family on family come later on today but we're only gonna cut their nori when they come because it's gonna get soggy if we cut it now mm -hmm. mm. good good job The many the mayonnaise mixture really adds like a it like it counteracts the the vinegar of the sushi rice, so it, it kind of goes through the really really nicely. Mm -hmm. Good. So we'll show some footage later on. Now, so keep watching, but we'll show, we'll show footage of my family eating the sushi rolls, have the hand rolls. And then um, you can see how they like it as well. And um, yeah, so keep watching for a little bit more sushi footage. Very good. Mm. Oh, so good. The nori is crispy, rice is perfect, the wasabi yep. is good just right, not too, uh, not too hot, hot, I like some wasabi, but everything is perfect, perfect. Oh. This is better than a restaurant. <laughs> this is Ren. We're gonna try the um, hand roll. I, yeah? I He's just gonna look. Mmm. Very good. I like the um, the poke. poke and the crab and the sprouts makes it tastes healthy and the avocado makes it feel healthy and mayonnaise just kind of ties it all together so very good so we had these hand rolls at new year's and they were delicious and I, I love it and I love how you can sort of pick and choose what you want and cater it to um, what you like in a hand roll so here goes mm. Definitely good for it. It tastes very healthy with all the, the vegetables, avocado. Mm. And I love the flavor of the wasabi and the mayonnaise. It's delicious. Mm. Okay, so we got our hand roll here and 
I only eat it with the crab and the sprouts. I'm not an avocado fan or I don't eat raw fish. So let's uh, dip and let's try a bite. Mmm, it's really good. So you can taste like the, the sauce in there, the mayo sauce, um, the wasabi, um, of course the sprouts and the crab. Excellent. Sushi race is on point. I give this a 10 out of 10. That food is good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching How to Make Hand Rolls with Mom. I'm going to eat one more. Um, but hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye